Welcome to the Azure Confidential Ledger or ACL demo. Azure Confidential Ledger is a managed service for keeping records and metadata intact with immutability and high integrity guarantees. In this demo, you will see how a confidential ledger is created from the portal, how one can add data to the ledger through CLI, and then validate the immutability of the stored data through cryptographic proofs. Portal, search for Azure Confidential Ledger to be brought to this view. You can choose from existing ledgers you have or click Create for a new ledger. The Create function will lead you to a step-by-step -step wizard. Next, you will choose or type in your resource name and type in a ledger name. Note that you must choose a unique ledger name. If you're needing to store data from different applications, you can do so easily by interacting with the ledger's API. And then to go to the next step, click Next. This step allows you to add users to the ledger you create. You can add AAD or certificate-based users through this page. Assign reader role for read-only permissions, contributor role for read or write permissions, or administrator role for read or write and user management permissions. Here, I search for an AAD user to add. And I assign a ledger role. You can click Review and Create to move to the last step. As you will notice, a final validation is run. Click Create to, to create your ledger. It might take a few minutes to create the resource and before it is available to you. Once created, you can go to the resource to view more details or manage users through CLI. Jumping into the code, the connection with the ledger is already established in this view. In this example, we have used the code sample with the ledger as a starting point. Then we've pasted the ledger name. This has to match the resource name that was created through Portal. To add to your first ledger transaction, update line 33 to append to the ledger and add the same value in line 51 to validate the ledger transaction.
Next, run the code. You will see it print a network certificate from the identity endpoint. 2.26 is the transaction ID for append to the ledger. The receipt de details for the transaction are printed as well. You will notice leaf, node, root, and signature details are displayed.